Buckling up the right way on every ride is the single most important thing a family can do to stay safe in the car. But finding the safest way for each member of the family to ride can be confusing if you don't have the right information. According to Corey Miller-Hobbs, program coordinator for Safe Kids Virginia, child safety seats are not a one-size-fits-all product. They need to be looking at the height and the weight and the age of their children and making sure that they are picking the right seat or safety belt to use for their children based on those um, items. Miller Hobbs says that proper installation is the number one priority. They need to make sure they're reading the manual for the child safety seat and the manual for their vehicle. That is going to give them all the information that they need to safely install um, the vehicle, the safety seat correctly. They're going to um, make sure that they get it in securely, which is often missed. Um, making sure that they're locking the safety belt correctly through the child safety seat um, as it should be in order to hold the child and the safety seat in the vehicle. Families often don't realize that their safety belt and the way they function for us as adults don't function um, the same and offer the same protection with the children when they're in a child safety seat. Parents should keep their children facing the rear until at least two years of age. And even though the recommended age to use a booster seat is eight, parents should adjust according to their child's size. All children need to be rear facing until at least one year and 20 pounds. Uh, then they can turn forward facing, though the newest information and uh, crash information that we have shows that children really are safer if they stay rear facing closer to their second birthday. That's going to give them plenty of time for their bodies to develop, to grow into their large head that they have as a newborn, uh, for their muscles to become stronger and ba better able to withstand crash forces. Children need to be in a booster seat until on average age eight. That's typically when the children are fitting into vehicles correctly with the safety belt. But please remember that the safety belts are designed for adults who are purchasing the vehicles. And so you want to make sure that children fit into those safety belts correctly. So you may have a 10 year old who is smaller or the vehicle seat itself may be larger and the child might not fit correctly into the safety belt and they still may need a booster seat past the age of eight. Miller Hobbs also says that a child should remain in the back seat until they are 13. This protects them from the forces of airbags. And that has to do with their size, but also their development and how their bodies are um, growing and developing to be more adult and stronger bones, stronger muscles. So they're better able to handle the forces of an airbag when it does deploy. About 10% of injuries to children occur not in traffic, but in and around the car. Someone gets into the vehicle and backs out of the driveway and unfortunately runs over the child. Um, there are also children play outside, um, get excited, use um, the vehicle as a place to play hide and seek or the vehicle trunk. And then they are trapped in the vehicle and don't know um, how to use an emergency release. It doesn't take a very hot day outside for the inside of a vehicle to become extremely hot and that be detrimental to children. So we need to make sure not only are we securing them correctly in the child safety seat, but we're the, teaching them about being safe in and around cars themselves, that we as adults getting in to drive, that you check around your vehicle every time before leaving the, the driveway or the parking space, um, that you're making sure that children do understand where the emergency release is inside a trunk. Safe Safe Kids Virginia is one of 300 national chapters working to prevent unintentional injuries to children under the age of 14. Go to their website for more tips on keeping your children safe or to the Virginia Farm Bureau Insurance website to learn more about how Farm Bureau Insurance is involved in your local community.